What's going on? <laughs> what is happening? Too short. Too tall. Sauce Twins back at it like we never left. I know we ain't doing the best of social distancing right now, but we, we, yeah. Yeah, we, t- we taking, you know, the proper steps. We are. We might need to take a couple more steps apart, but, you know, this is just. For now. Yeah. A little 15, 20 minutes. This is for now. You know, ain't nothing. How y'all living, though? How the quarantine been? Hey, man. Make sure y'all reach out to your people, man. This ain't easy for a lot of people, you know, to be separated. You know, they missing that energy right now. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they, you know, they starting to open things up, though. Phase yeah. one. Yeah. Phase two. About yeah. to go through. But, uh, man, I got a lot of stuff. You know, quarantine had me writing down all kind of stuff. You know, I'm reading and writing. Reading and writing. You know, boy in school, guy. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Well, let's see. Hey, you know what? Let, let's just talk about what's being talked about. What's being talked about? What with the COVID nineteen? Everybody's talking about how the media this, the media that. They complaining about the media. The media doing this. The media hyping. The media that. But you on the biggest media platform there is in the world, complaining about it. Did you ever once think you might be the media also? Now yeah. nowadays, everybody, everybody is the media. So while you on the biggest plat- media platform, social media platform, there is Facebook, you are part of the scare tactic that's going on. Posting pictures of empty shelves. That's you. That's not the media. Saying, hey, y'all better get over and get that Lysol. You creating this fear and this scare as well on social media. I, I don't know. I just feel like sometimes we don't stop and check ourselves. Like, yeah, you know, because it's it's hard to do that. It's hard to say, hey, let me look at what I'm doing. Am I a part? Is of it? This? Is it? Am I? Am I doing the same thing that I'm accusing? Yes. Someone else of doing? Yes. Sarah? Karen? Whatever. What's her name? Karen Baskins. Karen Baskins? Hey. Sarah. No, it's... it's uh, I don't even know her name. Y'all no better... Yeah, you better leave her alone. You know she... But that's the same... That's the same thing, though. You know uh, what I'm saying? Carol. Carol back... Yeah. It's, it's Carol. the same thing. Because Carol was blaming Joe... And she was doing the same doing the thing. Same, you're doing the same thing. <laughs> that boy done bought Tiger King. <laughs> I did watch that at the beginning of the quarantine. I, I'm pretty sure y'all did too. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. But um, yeah. But yeah, sometimes, man, like I said, I, I, I think it's, it's like that because that's the easy thing to do. It's to complain or... Not just not self reflect. Basically, basically, it's just self reflect. I was about to say it. I was about to <laughs> say it. We talk about it all the time. Yeah. Do a little yeah. bit of self reflection. Again, understand when you see something, people just want to be the first one to post it. Mm-hmm. I just want to be the first one to share it. I want to take a picture of these empty shelves, then post it, and then talk about we just need to shut down the media because if the media shut down, everybody wouldn't be so scared. Now, if each one of us, I'm going to say us, if each one of us kind of looked at and monitored or watched what we said and posted, might not create so much fear. Think about if everybody didn't go and post pictures of the empty shelves and the long lines. You wouldn't create the same anxiety yeah. and the same fear. Because then it's say, oh, shoot. Well, I got to go. go. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's going. I got I to gotta go get something. That's all, man. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't know. We just need to check that out sometimes, man. Just check that out. Reflect on that. Another thing. What was I want to talk about? Oh, this is talking about. This is on sports. This is for the athletes. I know a lot of people post these the percentages. That it's like this little breakdown. Check it out right here. Check out the little breakdown. 
It shows you how many the percentage of athletes that start in high school to the ones that actually make it to the NFL. But guess what? The percentages are low because dreams aren't made easy. Mm-mm. So don't try to show that little draw up to be like, you need to try to do something else. It's okay to want to do something that only 2% of the population want to do. That don't mean that I am not prepared, but I feel like a lot of times that little draw up is used as this scare tactic. Yeah, it is. Like you're basically saying you're not going to make it. Yeah, you ain't going to make it. So, Do you see the percentages? Do you really think you're going to be in that 2%? Hey, percentages are low because dreams ain't made easy. It's it okay. Easy. Everybody be playing. Everybody be doing it. Everybody be making the big time bucks. But everybody ain't built for that. No, they're not. But it's okay to go see if you built for it. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Because if you don't, then it's just going to be a... Shoulda, coulda, woulda, I wish I, 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 I. But if you do, you done been calloused. You done been calloused for a lot. You done been calloused mentally, physically, spiritually. Preparation. Yeah, because if you go through that thing and you, and you don't get the outcome that you want, which if we're talking about sports is playing in the league. Right. That process just wasn't for nothing. That process is, is going to carry over into whatever other endeavors that you deal with. Learn how to deal with adversity. Yeah. Callous. Get that callous. Working hard. Yeah. Working when it's just you. Yeah. Hey. And man. ain't nobody telling you to go work out, but you just getting up and going to do it. Hey, speaking of. Accountability. Right now is a perfect time for that. Right now has been a perfect. These past six weeks been a great time for athletes to gain a competitive advantage. Right now is a perfect time for athletes to work that integrity. I'm working with nobody else's. Nobody is looking. People talk about being a dog. I gave this example uh, the other day. So let's say we, we got a dog, right? I take his food. I put it in some fine china. Serve it to him. The dog gonna eat. Let's say I take his food. I could pour it in the back in the grass in the dirt. The dog gonna eat. I can pay, take. Let me tell you something. I put that food up on the counter. Push it back a little bit. I walk away. Nobody's looking. If the dog is hungry, that dog gonna eat. Nobody's looking. The dog is gonna find a way to feed himself. He gonna get on the counter, he gonna scratch and claw, he gonna find a way, he gonna pull that plate off the thing, and he gonna eat. Trust me, it's happened to me. Mm-hmm. The dog gonna eat. Right now, you got a perfect opportunity while nobody is looking to f- pull that plate up off that counter, scratch and claw till you get a little piece of it, pull it down just so you can get a little taste. Just a little ski taste. Right now is a perfect opportunity for guys to gain a competitive advantage, and for me, it was always important for me to be working when nobody was looking because then when we got together, mm-hmm. I felt like I had a, an advantage mm-hmm. just you, because I knew what I did. Boy, there's two two athletes now during this quarantine. The ones that, my boy just said it, find a way. And the ones that make excuses. The ones that find a way, they're going to come up out this thing stupid. Yeah, uh, yeah they are. And the ones that just making excuses, y'all just going to fall by the wayside. Fall by the wayside. There's a few, there's a few kids right now that enrolled up. There's some guys that, that have set their future these last six weeks when nobody was looking. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Good and bad, though. Some guys that have set their future these last six weeks ain't done nothing. You know? But, hey, it is what it is. So, again, you a dog. Find a way. Find a way to eat. Hey, make sure y'all going. Hit that follow button, subscribe, whatever the case may be. Ask your questions. Send your questions to hashtag AskSauceTwins. Holler. Tell a friend to tell a friend, hey? What will you sacrifice to be great?